Today we're going to be learning how to add a live table to our WordPress. So that's like creating an Excel style table and then putting it live on a page, meaning that you can update it from your document and it will automatically update it on your website. Now some of the reasons for this video is because if you're using things like table press, it's actually not auto updating unless you get another plugin. And if you want to do it for free, this is probably the best way that you're going to do it. We're going to be using Google Sheets. Using this method, you can simply do it for free and auto update it from your sheet. Now to get started first, search for Google Sheets. Click on the Google Sheet sign in, then sign in with your Google account. If you haven't used it before, it's basically Excel, but an online version. Basically, you can create tables and do exactly the same sums. And then have your page ready on your site. I'm using Elementor. If you don't want to use Elementor, that's completely fine. We're going to be using a HTML block. You can get that with your normal WordPress page editor or your post editor. Whether you're using Elementor, another page builder, or simply WordPress, you're going to be able to add in your HTML. Just for reference, the block looks like this, the custom HTML block, if you're using the WordPress editor. So first, I'm simply going to create a very simple form. There we go. There's our very simple form. Now, obviously, you can make this as big or as long as add as many sums. It works just like Excel does. But now, what we want to do so we want to put this on our page and we want to be able to update it from this sheet right here so then it updates on our page automatically for this we're going to go to file we're going to go to share we're going to go publish to web and here we're going to go to embed now this is where you choose whether you want to embed the entire document with however many sheets by sheets i mean here on the bottom left you can see we have sheet one we can have sheet two sheet three etc so let's say i just want to embed sheet one because potentially i might want to embed the next sheet onto another page I'm just going to go here and I'm going to select sheet one and I'm going to go to publish. It's going to ask us whether we want to do this and then it's going to give us this code right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy the code. Now this time I'm in, I'm in Elementor so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to find the HTML block as well. So here's the HTML block just like we would do in the normal WordPress editor with a custom HTML block and we're just going to paste the code into this section. There we have our sheet. Obviously it says untitled spreadsheet because I've not shaved it. It says sheet one. I can also change this name and this will also update. And for using Elementor, you can click the three dots up here and there you can just change the width, for instance, if I want it to be smaller to fit in a smaller area. Now this will automatically update every five minutes. So every five minutes, it will look again, check against the sheet and then update to what the sheet has been updated to. I personally like to also turn on the saving online. I just find that it auto saves a lot easier if you've got it auto saving itself. Every time it saves, it publishes again and then essentially updates much faster. And it's been around five minutes. Let's just check out if this is updated yet. So I've actually made the sheet bigger. There we go. As you can see, the sheet is now bigger and it's actually just auto updated from what I've added onto the sheet from here. Now, one of the things that you're going to notice is that I can't see this all on screen. So we're going to want to fix this a little bit. Now we can do this with a free thing like ChatGPT. You don't need the paid version. You can use the free version and you can basically feed it the embed code and it will give you the code back to make this fit on the page better. So to do that, I'm simply going to take that code that we first got. That's the embed code that we were given. And first, I'm going to put in the prompt. So what I want it to do underneath, put in the embed code and it should give you a code that will now work. This can be trial and error, so let's just go ahead and copy this first one first, and let's replace the original embed code. As you can see, this is working to an extent. We can now see more of the page. So I noticed that it's trying to transform certain things that we don't want transformed. So actually, I've just asked it if it can just make the height higher. There we go, and it's done exactly what we needed, which now means that our whole sheet is now showing on the page. You can do small things here without really needing to code, such as once you have done this, changing the height, the border, or the width. The width is set to 100% of the box that it's in, as we can see here, by the 100% mark. You can change the percentage to that, so obviously we can just change that to 75%. Or we can go down to the height, which is currently 800 pixels, which for us is just a little bit too high. So here we can change this to 600, and now it fits much better to the actual table itself. Now if I just go over and edit my container, I change the percentage down so it fits a little bit more just the Excel sheet, and I hit update. We now have a very nice looking Excel sheet on our page, which you can update from your sheet anywhere, whether you're on your laptop, you could be on your phone, anywhere in the world, and it will then update straight to your page. So thanks for watching guys, we can have another two videos popping up now on the screen. And of course, if you haven't yet, make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. And we'll catch you next time.